I never used to schedule my days. There was a time when I'd wake up at the last minute, eat whatever and wherever I wanted, and just go with the flow. I would do tasks only when they absolutely couldn't wait any longer and would leave everything else until later. The problem with this go with the flow type approach is that it wasn't getting me anywhere. I wasn't getting closer to my goals and it felt almost impossible to stay disciplined with healthy habits. I would spend huge blocks of time procrastinating and when I finally did get to work, I would feel rushed and stressed. This was not how I wanted to spend my life. So a few years ago, I decided to make a change. In this video, I'm going to share how I schedule my days so I can live healthily while still achieving my short and long-term goals. And I hope that this video can help you to do the same. I originally got the idea to schedule my days from former Navy SEAL David Goggins. In his book, Can't Hurt Me, challenge number eight, he suggests to schedule it in and lock everything into place in 15 to 30 minute blocks. So that's exactly what I did. I picked up a dollar store notebook and started scheduling out my days 15 to 30 minutes at a time. I didn't quite know what I was doing at first, but I was doing it and that's what mattered. And ever since starting this daily practice, I have found it much easier to stick to a healthy diet, exercise consistently, sleep better, and accomplish my goals. I've even noticed improvements in my productivity and ability to focus on one task at a time. And over the past few years, I've made tweaks and improvements to my scheduling process. And now, many schedule books and exercise journals later, I think I finally perfected it. This is how I schedule my days for success. I make my schedule for the next day, the evening before. I start out with exercise on the left-hand page. At the top, I write reminders to review my strength training checklist, as well as my biking or running checklist. These checklists contain important information with respect to each activity and are meant to be reviewed prior to starting the exercise. Next to these reminders, I add check bubbles so I can check them off after I've reviewed them. I write out the strength training exercises I plan on doing, including the number of sets and repetitions per set, with check bubbles for each. I then write out whichever cardio exercise I am doing that day, with the estimated time it takes to complete, a distance goal, and a check bubble next to that. Lastly, I write out the word clean with a check bubble as a reminder to clean any and all equipment that I might have used during the workout. I like to use check bubbles because checking them off gives me a sense of accomplishment and pride, physical and visual feedback that I have accomplished what I set out to do. The area under the exercise section is left blank so that I could draw or write out any ideas that I have throughout the day. I used to do some daily journaling in this area, but I've recently switched to doing that digitally as I found that method to be more effective for me. For the actual schedule, it starts out with the date and a line down the middle of the page. I then set a wake up time, which is usually nine hours after I fall asleep. Then I treat every line on the page as a 15 minute interval, and I write out all hours of the day up until I plan to be sleeping. Then I write out my evening and morning routines at opposite ends of the schedule so I know how much time I have throughout the day. I plan out my meals for the day, and if I have any cooking to do to be able to have those meals, I schedule in the cooking time as well. I then schedule in my exercise and shower time slots, as well as time for an outdoor walk or two if it's a nice day. I check my calendar to see if I have any phone calls to make or places to be and schedule them in. I also add any reminder tasks from my reminders app that need to be completed that day. I add in self-care items like extra meditations and yoga. And on the bottom of the schedule, I add check bubbles for them as well as for walks. These activities are good for the soul and I wanna be sure to have check bubbles for them so that I can feel accomplished even when I get these little things done. A pat on the back of sorts. The empty space left in the schedule is where I add my to-do items. These can be whatever may have been left undone from a previous day, items from my to-do list, and work that needs to be done on short or long-term goals. 
And I try and get specific with what I write. I try not to just write out something general, like work on next YouTube video. I try and write out specifically what needs to get done for that video during that given time period. Lastly, if there's something important that I want to keep in mind for that day, I write it at the top of my schedule in all capitals. And that is a finished schedule. A schedule that prioritizes diet, sleep, exercise, relaxation, and productivity. A schedule that works for me. And if you've never scheduled out your day before, I can imagine that this could seem a bit overwhelming. But it's important to keep in mind that this type of schedule is supposed to support your lifestyle and not feel like a prison. So I don't beat myself up if I have to go off schedule or have other things that come up throughout the day that I need to give attention to. My schedule is simply meant to be a guideline for what I hope my day to look like. But whatever is left unfinished can always be scheduled in for the next day or added to my to-do list for a future time. And sometimes it doesn't make sense to make a full schedule like this. I find that when I'm vacationing or traveling, a schedule like this is kind of hard to make and hard to stick to. So during those times, I instead opt for a more simple to-do list for the day. I did also want to mention that I've often thought about trying to digitize this entire schedule using a calendar application and time blocks, as a digital schedule can be more convenient at times. But with so much of my life already digital, I find it really nice to have a physical schedule that I can write out in pencil every day. It makes for a relaxing evening activity, and I like having a plan for the coming day that's not hidden behind a locked screen. And although having a schedule like this helps me personally to maintain healthy habits and accomplish my goals, it's important to keep in mind that we are all different and this type of daily scheduling may not work for everyone. I made this video to share what works for me with the hope that you will find it useful. But I would love to know what works for you down in the comment section below. If you like the video, please give it a like and subscribe. I make new videos about self-improvement every single week. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Peace.